The start of the school year is here, and schools around the Wiregrass are setting their goals for the upcoming year. WDHN's Aaron Dixon has a story on one school's hopes for the 2023-24 school year as students enter the classroom next week. The beginning of August means one thing in the state of Alabama and right here in the Wiregrass, the start of a brand new school year where some kids are returning to their old stomping grounds while others are entering a new building that they haven't been in before. Webb Elementary kicked off festivities this evening with an open house. Students got to tour the school and meet their teachers for the upcoming school year. The school has welcomed four new teachers this summer to help teach the 460 students who will take to the halls next week. We've worked extremely hard this summer preparing and we're so excited. We want to do everything we can to show you as much love and kindness and encouragement and motivate you to reach your fullest potential. One thing every school does before the new school year kicks off is set goals to make sure everyone is striving for the same thing. This year, Webb Elementary administrators say they want to improve attendance an issue that began during the COVID-19 pandemic. Hope that parents will partner with us and make sure that their kids are here almost every day unless they are sick. If the kids aren't here, there's not a whole lot we can do. Another goal for the school is increasing the proficiency scores in math and science. Tomorrow, Geneva County, Elba, Coffee County, Dale County, and Ozark City schools go back to school. The rest of the Wiregrass will start school next week. Students at Webb Elementary will officially go back to school on Tuesday. But to all the schools that are starting tomorrow, WDHN News would like to wish you a happy first day. Reporting in Houston County, Aaron Dixon, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.